This is my Pharaoh's guide. It means I will give you a detailed description on how I will do it. Now, I'm not going to give directions quite yet, so first I'm just going to talk about what you're going to wear. What you're going to want to wear, you're going to want to wear Pharaoh's armor, just uh, plate and legs. You'll want to find a good shield, and I recommend a Sears helmet or the Feminique Isles helmet. Because either the Sears helmet for the mage bonuses or the Fremenic Isles helmet because it gives um, good prayer bonuses. I mean, I don't use prayer much and this guide will not tell you to unless you need it. Okay, so pretty much first, get to Port Fat Mattis anyway. I go to Camelot and go there from uh, the Charter Guy. Then, once you get there, exit the city, walk east until you hit Canifest, then go into the swamps. Then, find your way to the Barrows. I will give you a guide on how to get here in a separate video. But now I get to tell about the monsters. First, there's Darox. I always recommend doing him first because if there's any monster you don't want, I mean, any ghost you don't want to run out of prayer on, it's Darox. Run out on somebody else, they might hit a 20. This guy, you run out, he'll hit a 50, maybe more. So it's not cool. Um, he's got low defense. Low magic defense, so you shouldn't worry. Just remember, watch your prayer if you get too low. If it's probably 54, 60, something like that, he probably won't have to worry about drinking a prayer potion that first time. And if you kill him fast enough, you might not have it too for this. Okay, next one is Kairos. He's the range guy. I always do protect from range because he hits a lot on me. I don't know why, but it's good to always pray on someone who hits a lot. I mean, this guy is like the second most dangerous. I don't know why, no matter what army. So just remember, drink your prayer potions, eat food if you have to. I made him because my, I want to save my mood for the next guy. Arms. Okay, so now we're going to arms. He's in the center of it all. He's the magic guy. I do not use protect for magic. Or, in fact, I'm not going to pray at all anymore. Now put your drink your super attack, super strength, to put your special attack and your melee prayers on, and own this guy to health. He's pretty easy, if you notice. I barely lost any health because of my armor. And, yes, you need dehyde. If you do not, you will get eaten alive. Now the next guy is Guthans, but he is my tunnel. And that leads to the dungeon, so you want to kill everybody else off first so you don't get trapped in the dungeon up against, what, five ghosts? Wait, I don't even know if you get trapped by five ghosts. I think some of them just don't appear. Next is Toe Rag. It's not funny, Toe Rag. Anyways, he's the easiest. He's just the easiest, period. You'll hit on him, he won't hit much, unless you got really bad defense. I don't prey on him. He's too easy to prey on, wasting my prayer potions. Next, I do barracks. He might be out of the not guys you're not going to pray for. The number one hardest. Because he actually hits a lot. Look, he just hit a 23 on me. And he's going to hit a lot more. I guarantee it. <clears throat> so, yes, it's not. I would not recommend leaving a couple spaces open in your inventory because. You're bound to use them unless you're like some super level 126. But I just use four shards on this one guy. Not one on anybody else, just four on this guy. So that proves he can be pretty dangerous. Okay, now when you go into the tunnel, there's a maze to go through and you always go for the center. Today I was very lucky, the door was nearly right at near the entrance to the dungeon. I went through this door, I went through the other door, and there's the door to the dungeon. Now, however, there's this puzzle. 
check the knowledge base for the answers, I stink at it. Like, so every time I just click randomly. And sometimes I'll eventually get it. Here I was about to die, so I ate my sharks. So after you finish this guy off, uh, you can take out your melee weapons. Because there's nothing else to be worried about. So you can just kill off a couple skeletons. Because, you know, every time I've gotten a drop, it's been after I killed a couple extra things. And it's actually supposed to have been proven that it doesn't make a difference. But so far, it's made a difference with me, so I don't care. So after you own a couple guys off, if you want, go in the chest room and open it up and pray to God you get anything. I will not get anything this round because... Well, I haven't gone barreling since my last Derek's video where you saw me get the deer Derek axe. But I'm just making it back. Pono skeleton. By the way, there's this guy. You may notice he starts doing that home lumberage teleport. It's not the best idea to not bring a teleport in because that can get disturbed by falling rocks after you search the chest. And 